Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to send the put request using the Catalon Studio. But before we start with that, let us understand what is a put request and how to use it. So as we know that the get request is used for getting the resource from the server. Post request is used for creating the new resource. In the similar manner, the put request or the patch request is used for updating the existing resource. So assume that using the post endpoint, I created a new record in our test application. Now I want to update it. So in that situation, I need to use the put request for updating the existing record. So in our test application, this is the endpoint URL for the put request. Now, just like the post request has the request body, in the similar manner, the put request will have the request body. The body will contain the updated data. So let's say this is our updated body. As we are attaching the body with the request, so we need to use the header to specify the content type. With the help of content type header, the server will know what is the format of the request body. And with this header, the server will know in what format the server should respond to the request. So we are getting the status code as 200. OK, now let us use the get endpoint. So you can see here the record is updated now. So this is the flow which I'm going to automate. First, I'm going to create a web service request for put. So as I mentioned earlier, the put request is used for updating the existing resource. So before we send the request, prior to that, we need to send the post request that will create a new resource. So this web service request will have a variable for ID. And this is our test script. The test script will have a local variable that will generate the random ID. So first in the test script, I'm going to send the post request that will create a new resource and capture the response back. After that, I'm going to send the put request and update that resource. So this is the flow of our automation script. So in the Catalan Studio under the object repository, I will create a new directory called put request. Inside this, I'm going to create a new web service request. The HTTP method is put. And this is the endpoint URL. Then I will specify the header. So accept is the header name and its value is application slash JSON. The next header is content type and its value is also application slash JSON. So under the test case directory, I'm going to create a new folder and let me call it as verify put request. Inside this, I'm going to create a test case. So 
So first I'm going to add a web service keyword that is send request and I will use the web service request that is post with ID. As well as I'm going to create a local variable that is going to generate the random ID for me. So let me switch back to the script mode. So first I'm going to generate the random ID and pass this variable here when I'm sending the post request. So once I send the post request, I'm going to capture the response. As we know that the return type of this method is response object. So I'm going to create a variable and capture the response. So in order to make sure that our post request is successful, I'm going to put the assertion on the status code. Now after that, we need to create the body for our put request. So this body will contain the updated record. So this is the body. I have already updated the new record in the body. Also, it is going to use the same ID which is used while sending the post request. Then we are going to create the put request. So we have already created a web service request for the put. So I'm going to refer that web service request. So for referring to the existing web service request, I will use the same method which is being used here. That is find test object. So find test object and specify the put request. And then I'm going to typecast this into the request object. As we know that response object and request object are two things which Catalan Studio use for sending and receiving the request and response. So let me typecast it to a request object. So inside this web service request, we have configured all the things what we need, such as URL method type, as well as the header. The only thing which is missing is the body. So that I'm going to configure in our test script itself. Now I'm going to create the content and I'm going to attach that content with the put request that will serve as a request body. And for creating the request body, I will take the help of interface called HTTP body content. So this is the interface which is implemented by the class that is HTTP text body content. So I will use that class and specify the request body here. And let me add the necessary import for this class. After that, there is a method which is present inside the request object using which you can attach the body with the request. So put request dot set body content and I will attach the content. So by this two line of code, we are creating the content and attaching it with the put request. And then we are going to send the request. So for that, I will use the web service object from the Catalan Studio dot send request and specify our request object. And the return type of this method is response object. So I will create one more variable to capture the response of this request.
after that i'm going to add the assertion so first assertion is on the status code and the second assertion is on the content So when we send the put request with the new body content, you can see here the size of the feature list will become five. So I will put the assertion on that. Now before we add the assertion on the content, let us parse the response because after parsing only we will get to know that what is the actual content we get from the response. So again for parsing the JSON response, I am going to use the JSON Slurper library. And to fetch the response, we will use put response dot get response body content. And then I will add the assertion. So assertions dot assert that. So let me open the API documentation for this library. So this is how you can put the assertion on the size of a JSON array. So I'm going to use the same syntax. So response after parsing dot we have features dot feature dot size. This should be equal to five. Now let me run this script. So as you can see here, our script is passing. Let me also print the response of the put request at the console. So let us see what is in the console. So this is the response body. And the ID is 56. Let me also cross check with the help of Postman by sending the get request. So this is the record which is updated using the put request. So in this manner, you can send the put request using the Catalon Studio.